This is just crazy, dude. NHL teams are going out there and getting it done. They saw the window, they saw the timeline, they saw everything expiring soon in terms of eligibility, and so now, NHL teams have started to buy players out, and the list is staggering. We already saw Josh Bailey get placed on waivers for the purpose of a buyout yesterday after being acquired by the Chicago Blackhawks from the New York Islanders, but today we've got a few more names. It's Blake Wheeler, firstly, former captain of the Winnipeg Jets. You've got Matt Duchesne on the Nashville Predators. You've got Kaylor Yamamoto on the Oilers, and you even have Mike Riley on the Boston Bruins. So what I did was I pulled up a few tabs. I wanted to talk about these three guys here, Wheeler, Duchesne, and Yamamoto. We'll see if we can do this in one take. I kind of doubt it. I don't really know if I'm capable of doing this all without messing up at least once. But take a look at this. Blake Wheeler's agent indicates that the winger prefers the Eastern Conference. Less travel and a new experience. We will see what evolves. There also was a video posted onto the Winnipeg Jets Twitter of Blake Wheeler himself going out there and saying how proud he is to have been a Winnipeg Jet. He also was the last player on the Jets to have been an OG member of the Thrashers. So, yeah, he was playing with this team for a little bit, 23 games played, and then they went over to Winnipeg. So he was the final piece, and I think it's alongside of Evander Kane and... Oh boy, who's the last guy? Is it Bogosian? These three players are the remaining NHL players who have been a part of that OG Jet squad. So, or not Jet squad, excuse me, Thrasher squad. So, Blake Wheeler, last year he had 55 points in 72 games played. Still a very talented and capable hockey player, but he is getting bought out. He will be a free agent. Take a look at the contract that he had had. $8.25 million a year till the end of 2324. So where is that buyout calculator? Here it is. So instead of his expiring being next year, he'll be on the Jets payroll till the end of 2425 at a 2.75 AAV cap hit. Not bad, honestly, considering what it is that you're saving if you are the Winnipeg Jets. But Blake Wheeler, of course, he is a lot older. He is 36 years old. This will be a veteran player available in the market for an Eastern Conference team to go out there and sign. Then you have yourselves a few more conversations as well, because Matt Duchesne also got bought out. Here's what Pat Brisson says about his client. It's too early to tell where he's going to go. We'll absorb the market here and see how things are going to go. Duchesne, a lot younger than Blake Wheeler. He's 32 years old, and he had himself 56 points in 71 games played. He had 40 goals last year as well, was over a point per game for the Predators, and now he'll be on the Nashville payroll till the end of 2028-2029 with a $1.5 million AAV for the last few years. Sorry, there's a lawnmower going on outside. I don't know if you can hear that. But it's interesting because Duchesne's cap hit against the Predators cap in 24-25 is going to be $5.5 million a year. You actually can't see that on the screen, but it's going to be a pretty beefy cap hit. And in 25-26, that cap hit against is $6.5 million a season. So really gnarly numbers right there for the Predators on their payroll, but... They are coming out of a contract that would have seen Duchesne making $8 million AAV till the end of 25-26. So they're saving a little bit. It's still pretty beefy when you take a look at what's going to be applied to their cap. But Matt Duchesne is a 50-point guy who is going to be a free agent now. Speedy, quick, and score. We know what Duchesne is all about. This will be a pretty good bargain for anybody that's able to pick him up for cheap. Then you have yourselves Kaylor Yamamoto recently acquired by the Detroit Red Wings for nothing. We made the video yesterday talking about how Yamamoto and Klim Kostan were both sent over to Detroit from Edmonton for future considerations. Yamamoto, 24 years old, definitely still a capable and youthful hockey player in this league. He had 25 points in 58 games played last year and 41 points in 81 games the year prior. I'd always been talking this entire time about how Yamamoto is a good middle six scoring forward. He's small, he's shifty, he's still got time to grow, but 
the Red Wings are ending up buying him out. Detroit strongly considered keeping him, but they couldn't make the moves to make it work. Given the tight cap, Yamamoto is a good player hitting the market. Take a look at the contract right here. He was signed on until the end of 23-24, making $3.1 million a year, so the contract is being bought out. It'll be on the Red Wings payroll till 24-25 at a $500,000 cap penalty. So it's really not that bad. You're saving about, what is that, two and a half million bucks for the next season's worth of play, but you're getting applied a tax of 500000 the year after. So the Red Wings are saving some money here. It's just kind of intriguing to me how they weren't able to make everything work and keep this guy around. I honestly thought that Yamamoto at $3.1 million was a pretty good deal. So it's kind of unfortunate seeing him not get that opportunity for things to work out with the Red Wings. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your opinions about Blake Wheeler, Matt Duchesne, and Yamamoto all getting bought out. We also have conversations to go over about Bailey, about Riley. We didn't talk about those in here in this video, but I wanted to just focus on these three forwards right here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.